Assalamu alaikum. Mr. Moderator, our distinguished guests, brothers and sisters, our friends and, and our enemies. I'm not even here to try to make nobody feel stupid for for uh, uh, subscribing to her. I'm not trying to tell y'all don't li I'm not trying to tell nobody what they ought to do or ought to not do. The itch, what I'm doing here right now is letting everybody know I'm uncovering the things that need to be uncovered so we understand where we are. We cannot just allow stuff to be like, oh, they cool, you know, it's cool. That's how hip hop got stole. And hip hop went from black men telling their story in an artistic way that was gonna blow up, that was gonna change the value system. See, every time we do something that's set to change our value system, here they come. We don't want to seem like the ones that's, you know, got an attitude already. We don't want, we so worried about not being a hater. We so worried about, see, and then we don't worry about maintaining what we create. Because we are laid a groundwork for things to be done a certain way, for things to be set up a certain way, and then they come in with the resources and the slick talk, and then all of a sudden, they can repackage what we say, and the white man's ice is colder. In this, in, in this instance, the white woman's ice is colder. She talked Kevin Samuels talking points better than Kevin Samuels, I guess. She just worked harder. I guess with a whole crew behind her with a bankroll behind her because you don't run up one day with a full studio that's not how we go that's how rock and roll got took from us tried to take jazz away tried to take the blues away they still celebrating Elvis Presley they don't say nothing about the fact that it was black men that wrote them songs composed them songs his dance moves was from black men oh his whole thing and he couldn't stand black people. That didn't stop him from making a bag. That didn't stop them from naming him the king of rock and roll. Do you understand that? Not Chuck Berry. They never did give Lil Richard the props he was supposed to get. One thing I need y'all to understand is that her entire thought process is seated in the lost cause narrative because she's culturally white. She's white. I don't know why y'all, she white. Y'all think it's just about that. No. No. And when you're culturally something, that means your value system is based in that thing. I gave you a little bit of a refresher on the lost cause narrative. Do we remember? From 1865 to the 1880s, these Confederate legends have been forged by wartime participants determined to vindicate their cause. By the, by the 1890s, however, Lost Cause culture had emerged, especially through the work of the United Daughters of the Confederacy, elite Southern white women. These are the white women with money and good family prestige. Elite Southern white women claiming direct family relationship to the Confederacy through their fathers and uncles or sometimes husbands and brothers built monuments, lobby congressmen, delivered lectures, ran essay contests for school children, raised money, and strove to control the content of history textbooks all in the service of an exalted South of yore. She, she, I'm gonna say this point before I get into the last part of the meat. She support Karen. Y'all want to hear what she said about supporting Karen's? Never talk to me again. 
the whole crew blocked me on Twitter, stopped talking to me. And then I got a call from my boss at RSPN a week later, this guy Joe Seals, and he says, Cassie has been calling me every day for the last two weeks saying that I need to fire you because you're racist and you're an anti-Semite. So not only does she cut off the friendship and blacklist me, but then she starts calling my boss. Mm, she Karen you, huh? Yeah, it's for real. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Was she white? Uh, yeah. Yeah, we are the best Karens. Yeah, we, we really, are. We do Karen it better than anyone else. <laughs> <laughs> that's true, yeah. That's, uh... <laughs> I'm not sure that's like something to be proud Wait of. For it. it kind of is, though, actually. I'm actually, in a way, kind of like pro Karen. Karens are needed. I'm not saying, yeah. like, we're, sometimes we're in the wrong, mm -hmm. but I honestly think, like, Karens are the ones that do the shit that no one else wants to do. Mm -hmm. Now, you might have been on the negative end of the Karen stick, right? That's But they all probably wanted you fired or wanted you blacklisted, right? Karen's just the one that did it. Yeah, that's Karen, right. So, from my point of view, if the guy next door is having this loud party and I'm the one that goes and complains, Everyone wanted it to stop. That's right. I'm pro Karen. I am too. So, all. Now, some of us, some of us might be thinking, well, Crimson, that's, you know, not really a big deal. She was laughing. It's probably a joke, you know, that she said she was pro Karen. You know, she she probably mean, she probably meant a joke and stuff like that. You know, that's not, that's, that's, that's not, that's nothing. That's nothing. Emmett Till got Karen. Did Emmett Till think Karens were necessary? It was a Karen that cried grape that got Tulsa, Oklahoma burned and bombed. It's a Karen that tried just now, just recently, to get Michael Irvin life ruined I know that she didn't do no content on that and don't tell me that content ain't in her wheelhouse cause Nick Fuentes ain't supposed to be in her wheelhouse either but that's content on her channel is it not it's been Karens that like to get black men specifically black men lynched calling the police on them to get them arrested at best, deleted at worst. It's Karens that'll squeal on you if they see you in a sundown town, even in 2023. And she likes Karens. Terrell always got Karen. What, last year? How many black men have lost their life, their livelihood, and everything that they ever worked for because of a Karen? Because the word of a white woman is sacred in this country. She's pro Karen. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> She's pro Karen. Paper gold. You see, black folks are chumps. If America were to tell you to bring all the rocks in this country to her, and she'll give you a million dollars for it, you'll do it. And the next day she'll tell you we're using rocks for currencies, chump. 